interest in the preservation of road gangsters vehicles. Help us with the continuing struggle against legislation, the need for safety training, and the production of various codes of practice. Your subscription will help the continuation of our work to make sure that part of the national heritage, the road steam vehicle, remains for future generations. You do not have to own a steam engine or a vehicle to gain a great many benefits from membership of the National Traction Engine Trust. Um, technical advice and assistance for the finding of spare parts. Members can take part in our Traction Engine driving courses at a very reasonable cost. If you would like to have more information about the National Traction Engine Trust or a rally list, Send a self address envelope to National Traction Engine Trust, post office box 102, Wrexham. Postcode is LL13 ODS. Well, this is not the only show that's going on around the pack uh, in September. Next weekend, we're up to A1. Uh, a bit of a bigger way to the Old Warden Valley, which takes place at Southern And that rally takes place over the next uh, weekend. Entrance to that, we only get to the ladder, but we also get to entrance to the East Hill Falconry, which is only on the south, we get to the entrance to the Swiss Garden, the same way as the Swiss Garden, and also to the Federal Aircraft Aircraft Collection, the showcase of the first 100 years of powered flight. And it's an amazing thing that there is, I think it's my hand nowadays, for the value theme organised by the Deputation Steam Preservation Society at Old Warden. Next week, the first copy anyone, this is one, uh, as well, so I'm going to tell you about right now. Second, this is very fast, this year, on the 25th and 25th of September. And that's what happened at Transfer, which is A510 and A14, just the new level of the all the years of stuff you will expect to find at a business driving a speed fair, plus public camping is available to make sure that facility is available to you. That's the Kettering Vintage Day and Steam Fair, which is taking place this year on the 25th and 26th of September. Now, a word about these Steam Adventures Club. The club was formed in 1979. The young people under the age of 21 were so interested in steam traction engines and was formed by the then National Traction Engine Club. Today, it is the young person's grant for the National Traction Many people want to engine at rallies, but two of them know how many it works and even fewer. Have the chance to be shown over one by the owner, talk about the work he used to do, or even help with the engine's maintenance. The club has an interesting quarterly magazine, with many of the articles being written by the club members. They also have a scheme which allows club members into a large number of traction engine rallies free of charge. And if required, they will put you in touch with an engine owner near you, so that you can learn more about the engines from people who actually run them. In addition, they also run special training sessions where proper instruction is available from the experts. If you enjoy rallies, photographing and recording engines, selecting pictures or books about engines, talking about steam, or if you wish to learn more, then of course they're very freshmen. That's the 2010 St. Albert Model Show at the Francis Bacon School on the 25th and 26th of September. The Russian Historical Transport Society are holding a 1940s home front wartime weekend at the Russian Transport Museum. This is a nostalgic home front weekend at an LMS branch line station featuring a steam hauled passenger service, living history displays, archive film shows, civilian and military vehicles, a piano led sing along on the Saturday, there's a memorial service on the Sunday, and the mainline big band. <laughs> Uh, about now, I'll get to the road demonstration very shortly here in the main arena, uh, nicely before you from the Disney Cruise and Action Band and Cold Drum from Romford. This is not so ready at the Cold Drum, it's 232. <laughs>
to be doing by the table family and the three were two for when I thought we'd do and you get up on there and have a steer around the ring. You won't be driving, you'll be steering. There's a distinction between the two. The man with his hand on the throttle, the regulator is the driver. He's looking after the fire and the water supply, and you're doing the steering. It's a bit different from a railway locomotive, where the man on the uh, shovel, of course, is the fireman, and looks after the boiler, and the driver is just in charge of the regulator and the receiver. And we're off there. And it's quite a different thing than on the roll. However, if there is a chance for you to get on one of the engines and uh, have a steer around that balloon, which is our safety, you're going to be saying earlier on. Uh, consists of oil and water, and the storm is needed to sink again.